Welcome to Allie's Attic, where you never know what kind of surprise you'll find in my attic. I'm your host, Allie, and today my surprise is one I have been talking about forever, and everybody's going to know exactly who I'm talking about as soon as I said that. He is a multi-instrumentalist. Oh, instrumentalist? See, I can't even talk. My goodness, he's a vocalist. He's a songwriter. He can shred a guitar like you would not believe. Please welcome 18-year-old Jacob Cade. Hello, Jacob. Hey, how's it going? How's everyone doing? Doing. I'm We're, glad to be here. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I'm so excited I can't even talk. Like, seriously. <laughs> Anyways, um, Jacob, what started you on this journey? And thank God you did because you are incredibly talented. So what, what put you in this direction? Well, um, I guess the main thing would be uh, when I was growing up, um, it, it started with my dad always playing uh, music around me and um, you know, when I was very, very little, I was always interested in, in the, the musical toys, you know, like there's pictures of me, like on the keyboards, like little tiny kid keyboards, the guitars and everything like that. So I guess I always had like an interest towards it. And then, um, eventually I ended up going to a friend's house and playing the, the video game Guitar Hero. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so I, I fell in love with not just the game, but the, the the graphics like behind it you know they have the, the guy playing actually and like the music i just fell in love with with the whole thing i was like this is crazy like my dad plays this music like my dad um is like he knows this stuff too and so i i came home and i looked in the in the uh, video cabinet and i looked for the first thing that had a guitar on it and that was song remains the same by led zeppelin the 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 movie mm -hmm. and as soon as I put it on I fell in love with Jimmy Page like just the way he moved and interacted with the crowd the way he played um, and then that that just thrived you know pushed me into the music and the guitar and I tried to learn guitar and everything like that I taught myself um, with a little bit of help from my dad um, but mainly it was just watching videos listening to music and figuring it out um, and then until it, it was like that until I, I saw Slash play for the first time <laughs> how ironic it is that i said these names before we even started this <laughs> yes <laughs> keep it, going keep going um uh, but yeah I, I remember distinctly watching him uh he opened up for ozzy it was my first concert ever uh my first rock concert ever that i remember um and uh he just blew my mind the way he moved the way he looked the way he played guitar it was just mind-blowing like it just changed my life forever um, and that was what I wanted to do, like, was play like that and groove like that and write songs like that and everything. Um, but yeah, and then, and then, you know, people think that it's all rock and roll for me, but also I actually do have another side of musicians that fueled me, which is Michael Jackson, huge one. He's the one that really wanted me to be a performer when I was little. Mm -hmm. Like I saw him and, and, and I wasn't really into like that the music or anything, I just knew I wanted to perform like that. Um, and uh, James Brown, uh, Ray Charles, Jerry Lee Lewis, um, of course Elvis, um, and, and then a big one uh, to Bruno Mars, actually. Oh. He's, 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 a, he's a very, very good musician and a phenomenal singer, and that guy knows how to put on a show. He's, <laughs> he reminds me of like Prince and, uh, and James Brown, which are other two of my, the people. It's just like, I'm just fueled by all this music around me, and it just made me want to do it. Well, I can't believe you named off all the names you named. Um, I had a, an earlier interview where um, actually the, the person did know Prince and wow. um, actually was speaking to, like, he's really good friends with his roommate. And we were talking about the love we have for him and what a showmanship he was. Um, I love Bruno Mars, like you would not believe. He knows how to put on a show, like you said. Um oh, yeah. Before um, Jacob and I started talking, just so everybody knows what I'm talking about, I said that when I first saw his YouTube videos where he was performing, he blew me away. Um, when I found out that Jimmy Page's performance in The Song Remains the Same was part of his influence, that blew me away because that's one of my favorites. And the first two people that came to mind when I saw Jacob play was Slash and Eddie Van Halen. Um, absolutely, absolutely amazes me how well he can shred and he also does have the ma the modern um dance moves so 
it, it's all combined in his show. I urge everybody to go watch his YouTube videos. Like, go and watch them because they will blow your mind. Um, now, what other instruments, uh, instruments, see, I still can't talk. <laughs> what other <laughs> instruments do you play, K Jacob? Um, I, I play um, guitar, um, piano, I play bass, and a little bit of drums as well. And who plays in your band with you? Because I loved this part, too. Cool. Um, well, in my band, there's, uh, there's me. I play guitar, piano, lead vocals, write the music. Um, and also on, the, on bass, beside me is my dad, mm -hmm. Jim Kate. Um, he, he rocks out on the bass. He does whatever he needs to do. He does background vocals also and a little bit of, of dancing as well. We did the choreography and everything, uh, which I also do. Um, and uh, also, um, my drummer, we, we have a rotation of drummers. As a matter of fact, um, on the first record, we had Jay LaBella play. Um, so he's on, on the first record uh, doing the drums. Um, and then live, uh, as of now, we have Evan Chavez, who's our main stage drummer. Um, we have Tommy McMillian, uh, who is our, our backup drummer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's it so far, just the two, and, and they rotate depending on what shows they can make. Um, both really awesome drummers really awesome guys it's they're, they're just a really cool hang um and also on the on this we actually just finished up recording a record in nashville um which is a six song six song record that's going to come out in january but uh on that record uh, brent fitz uh who also played with slash's band um played on the record and oh. Which was really, really awesome. No kidding. Now, it, your band is called The Jacob Cade Project. I love that your dad's in it. I love that your dad's in it. Now, I'm glad you talked about the Nashville um, EP because you worked with one of the music industry's most iconic producers, and that's Michael Wagner. Yes. And he's known for, like, the m most <laughs> amazing albums of all time. Um, we're talking about Master of Puppets for Metallica, No More Tears for Ozzy Osbourne, um, look what the cat dragged in for poison. Um, like, holy, like, wow. Yes. <laughs> that is amazing to be able to have him produce um, your new EP. And oh, what it, was it like working with him? It was, it was amazing. I mean, uh, it just, it just blew my mind how great of a person he is um, and how, how awesome he was to me, teaching me and, and guiding me um, to be a better musician. Um, and I just was in awe the whole time I was working with him. You know, my, my jaw was to the floor, um, but also my head was to the ground also. You know, we, we, we worked. We worked hard because we, we had um, a minimal amount of time because I was also in school when we did this record. At yeah. The time still. Um, so, but it was just crazy. And, and he, he was so, uh, he's so behind me, which is, is very comforting as an artist, you know, as a, you know, to have a producer like that, that will always try and steer you the right direction and be honest and push you to the limit, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, to the limit, you know, uh, he just, it was, it, it was, he was caring, but he was also, you know, he, he knew when to be hard on me and to get the best out of me that I could. Um, and I, I thank him a lot for that because he really made me an even better musician an even better performer and even better writer um and and not only working with him but also working with the people the musicians that i wrote with over there um talking about lizzie hale from hailstorm uh, rachel bolin from skid row paul taylor from uh uh winger as a Ooh. matter of fact oh my god um it was insane you know i got getting to know those people and just talking to them and and becoming friends you know it was it was really really awesome um Never forget it. Well, I'm glad that it happened. And, and they say Nashville is the place to go, not just for country. Everybody thinks that Nashville is all about country, and it's not. Mm -hmm. um, I've had numerous artists come on my show that have gone to Nashville, and they don't play country at all. Um, and Winger, wow. <laughs> he, he, I love Winger. Um, yeah. I love all of them. Like, wow, I can't believe that you, you got the ability. I mean, you got the chance to meet these people and get to be friends with them. And of course, they're going to push you. And I'm glad that somebody's pushing you to do better because that's the only way that you can grow as a musician. Yeah. But also, I'm sure they think how I think. And you're kind of bringing the rock that we grew up 
on back in a way. And that's a huge thing for me because I'm I'm such a metalhead. It's not even funny. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I am so insanely, yeah, everybody teases me. Um, now, okay, so the EP that you worked on in Nashville is released, going to be released January of 2018. And it is the follow-up um, to your debut album, Prince of Rock and Roll. And that was released in 2015. Yes. Um, so you've been busy. Now, I want to talk about your school because it blew me away that you're still going to school and you're doing all this. Yeah. So you're like playing high school soccer and you're in the track team. Um, you enjoy playing pickup games of basketball and football. Now, this this part reminded me of my grandkids, and this is just making me feel very old. Um, during your downtime, you can be found watching Star Wars, James Bond movies, which are amazing. Um, and playing Call of Duty and Marvel vs. Capcom and checking out the latest fashion trends on Instagram. I actually have played Call of Duty with my grandson. Don't ask me how I did because I only played it once. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm glad that you're still being, you're able to enjoy, um, you know, your teenage years and being 18 and being in school and doing all the normal stuff that kids your age do. Um, and then there's this other side of you and just talking to you like Jacob you sound so mature for your age um, I know your mom's right there with you like congratulations for bringing up an amazing amazing young man because you you just just then why I'm gonna say this is because I'm gonna get into this now you are an avid supporter of organizations benefiting children battling cancer Yes. And it's because um, your sister was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 15. Mm -hmm. um, now, what kind of cancer, I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of cancer did your sister have and how, how is that all going? Well, um, she had osteosarcoma, um, which is in her leg, in her, her right fe femur. Um, and what, what happened was, uh, what, what, what was happening was the... Um, tumor was eating away at her bone and just you know destroying her leg and and making her life miserable but uh um yeah so what happened with that was you know she just she went through a, we all went through a life-changing experience with that um and just you know me being so young uh, i think i was like seven um when that happened and I just, I, I didn't know exactly what was going on. I didn't really understand the full, like, threat of it, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. But I did understand that she was in pain and that life wasn't normal at that point. You know, spending nights in the hospital, uh, weeks in the hospital, you know, for uh, more than a year. Um, watching, you know, my sister go through that and, and get super skinny and lose all her hair and just, you know, everyone, you know, wow. freaking out. Yeah. Um, but it just, it, it did make make me realize that life is super short and that if I'm going to do what I want to do, what I love to do, then I better do it now before that happens. Because I was so young that, you know, I thought that's hap that happened to everybody. You know, I thought that was a normality Yeah. eventually. And so I just kicked it in the high gear and I, I told her, I told her and my mom, I said, I'm, I promise you I'll do this. I'll do this for you. you oh, know? that is so awesome. How is your sister doing? Um, she's doing really good, actually. Good. Um, she's, you know, beat cancer. She's cancer free. Um, she has two kids right now and one on the way. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yes. Yep. Um, she's loves her job. She's, um, you know, always doing fun th things going around and she's always hanging with family, which is really cool also. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's doing great. That's um, good. That's good. And that's why you're like, you jump at opportunities to donate your time and artistic talents to child and teen cancer patients. And I think that is absolutely amazing. So hats yes. off to you for doing that, Jacob. Um, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, okay. So now I have been talking this up and talking this up and talking this up. And uh, people have been waiting for this. So I don't usually um, have new artists come on and perform. Usually it's artists that have been on my show before. Um, but because I fell in absolute love with your talent and with just you, um, watching you, you know, do different radio interviews and stuff like that, you just, you know how, you know how to do this. And it's so amazing at being 18. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have Jacob perform four songs for us because I want to share this with everybody and... 
everybody will now understand why I've been so gaga over this. So, um, Jacob, as soon as you're ready, um, start performing your songs. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, we'll start with this first one. Um, this one is is called Ball and Chain. Um, it's um, one of our one of our um, most liked songs. Um, people love it when we play it live. People ask for it. They they request. Um, and actually, as a matter of fact, you can get this song that I'm about to play, uh, the the radio version or the studio version, on giftfromjacob.com for free. Ooh. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is go go to giftfromjacob.com and uh, you know click on the link and it'll take you there and you can get that this free song. Um, and I hope you do. I hope you like it. So here it goes. Good, very good, very good. Thank um, you so much. Unfortunately, Skype's being Skype. <laughs> okay. I just checked my connection and I'm doing okay, so I'm not sure. Um, you could still hear it, like everything. It just kind of glitched a couple times, but that's okay. that's the you know the joy of Skype. But it still sounded yeah. great. So people are going to be able to hear it. Um, Thank. So that's called Ball and Chain, and yes. I've written down um, gift from jacob.com because i'm going to put that up on the website so people can click on it and get that song right now on. is that also your website um yes well actually it's 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 part of it um my website is jacobcademusic.com okay because that's um, going to be up there too J jacobcademusic.com okay they'll be able oh, to click on I'm, both of them i'm sorry it's jacobcademusic.com <laughs> jacobcademusicis.emailproject.com <laughs> okay you can go on with your second song oh right on all right well um this one is is a bit new newer um it's actually uh very very new um written i i wrote it um past few months um and this one is is a dear song of mine which uh we love to play live um i do it on a double net uh, like Jimmy Page. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Uh, um, and it's just amazing. I, I, I actually wrote this uh, about a girl I once knew in, in high school. So um, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Got these big blue eyes and a 
want your heart to play All I know is one simple thing Yeah, that someday I hope she'll be mine She's quite beautiful, yeah Don't know what she's thinking Don't know what cards to play All I know is one simple thing, yeah That someday great um thank you girls are going to be falling in love with you left right and center if they aren't <laughs> they're not already um i loved the courting on that especially oh, the beginning that was amazing um okay so what is your third song uh third one um this is another uh another pretty known song of ours um it's actually uh um been around for a long long time uh all the fans like it because the chorus is very, um, you can sing along to it very well. Um, and, uh, it's like just one song that when you hear it, you don't, don't really forget it just because of the wording of it and the way it sounds and it's fun and upbeat. So, um, this one's called Green Light Go. <clears throat> Something about the danger keeps me going your way. Me and the boys gonna party all night. Women to the left, to the right. Yeah. No red lights tonight. No red lights. Go, green light, go.
Take me back to Jimmy Page. That is awesome. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> go Green Light Go. Yeah, it is catchy. Very catchy. Um, yes. Okay. Now your final song for the night. My final one. This one, um, this one's called Always. And this one's off our first record as well. Um, and uh, this one has been around. I, I wrote it when I was a sophomore. Uh, just, you know, the way I was feeling one night. Um, and I had an acoustic guitar in my hands. I was in the basement, um, looking out of the, uh, looking out of the, of the door, uh, we have a glass door, so you can see, like, you know, the stars outside and whatnot, so I remember I was sitting right there looking out of the door, and I wrote this little chord progression, and then, um, the, the, the lyrics came out, so, um, here we go. <laughs> Ecstasy. 
Wow. <laughs> you you know what? Listening to you, I just the images that are going through my head, and one of them is sitting at you know being at a concert and holding lighters up. <laughs> oh. I don't know why that popped into my head, but that's you take me back. Um, yeah, it, oddly enough, when you say that, because uh, whenever we play those songs, uh, the crowd does they pull them out, and uh, actually one of the coolest things that I uh, that I did um, for in high school, you know, uh, I grad. Graduated actually not too long ago this year. Oh, um, congrats! Thank you very much. Um, but, but we had we had a senior assembly at the end of the year, and my whole school they know who I am and what I do and everything like that. Um, so they asked me to play um, at this assembly, and I did. Um, I did Dream On by Aerosmith. By Aerosmith. <laughs> um, and when I started playing, everyone uh, just they, they they turned the lights off in the gymnasium and everyone lit up their phones and it was the most awesome thing. Like it just made everyone come together. And uh, one of the coolest parts um, was when I hit the high notes um, at the end of the song. Um, no one had ever heard me do that before in that school. So they lost their minds and it, the whole crowd like erupted and it was like the coolest thing that I've ever done, you know. And, and I don't usually say that, you know, like, I'm usually pretty, very, very humble with everything like that. But when that happened, I was just like, I felt on top of the world because that song means a lot to me. And I know it meant a lot to them because of the the message that it sent, you know, dream on, dream until your dreams come true, you know, 2017, yeah. class of 2017, go, you know, um, and it was really, really awesome. But yeah, they did the lighter thing with their phones. It was really cool. That is awesome. And you are humble. And being able to talk about stuff like that doesn't mean that you're not humble. It just means that it was so profound for you that you, you need to share it. And that's, that is cool. It's, um, it's actually, it's actually on YouTube, the, the performances. Yes. So if, if you're into it, go check it out because it's fun. And there's also, is that part of the one where they interview people in your school? Is that the one? Um, no, no, that's a different one. Okay. Uh, they actually, Actually, they, my school district actually did a documentary on me. Um, they they wanted they heard what I was doing and and how I was juggling everything school, soccer, and and the music. Uh, and they wanted to you know kind of show people what you know how it worked and everything like that. How I did it. So um, it was a super cool thing, man, that they did. They followed me around school with a camera. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they came to like a soccer practice and they talked to all my teachers and my coach and my um, principal. And then, uh, they talked to my dad too. Um, and then they came to a show actually to record us, you know, get some footage of us playing and everything like that. So that was really awesome. Yeah. So yeah, if anybody, yeah, go watch that, that YouTube, but definitely watch the one where he's performing Dream On by Aerosmith because that's one of my favorite songs. Um, it's a lot of, I think everybody has... A connection to that song and you're right it's because right. of the message um, and I, one day the next time i see steven i'm gonna tell him that because uh crazy story here um we were in nashville recording the record and i actually watched a movie in the theater with steven tyler um sitting in front of me like three rows <laughs> oh my god did yes you, you talked to him Yes, I did. After the movie, I, I went up to him and kind of talked to him, and he was the coolest guy ever. Um, you know, we, we talked about the movie. It was, like, the coolest thing. I mean, he, he shook my hand. He's very genuine, very kind. You know, of course, I told him, you know, I'm a big fan um, and everything like that. But we, we had a short, short conversation because he was looking to get out of there before people noticed he was there. So Yeah, I guess. That is so cool. Um, yeah, definitely. When I put this up on Twitter, tag them, <laughs> tag all the ones that you want, you know, to say thank you for letting me, you know, go on this journey by, by all means. Definitely. Oh, definitely. will. yes. Uh, um, now, like I said, Skype is not the best for recording, but, um, it's way better than Facebook calling. I found that out. <laughs> so oh. it glitched a little bit, of course, um, throughout your performance, but the best part is, um, your YouTube videos and also, we are going to put up two songs of yours that are actually mastered. Um, so yes. people get a really, really good chance of listening and hearing how good you are. Um, what's what's the two songs we're going to hear? Well, the two songs that we're going to play that on this is uh, One Danger um, and Careful Who You Trust In. 
Uh, they're they're two of of uh, they're really cool songs, I think, and they're very fun to play. And and uh, we loved recording them in the studio. It was like the, it was a blast. Uh, so I hope you guys like it. And and also, I wanted to say, um, please follow me on on, on social media, um, in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I'm I'm all all over the place. So I'd like to get to know um, anyone who wants to talk and you know chat about things. Um, so yeah, and and I'm 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 very quick to respond usually. So just shoot me a message or comment on my on my photo or video or whatnot, and I'll get back to you. Um, and also, I wanted to say uh, we're opening up for Winger uh, in, in 2018 uh, January. Oh my god! Yes, so that would, that would be cool if you guys are in town. We're playing at Herman's Herman's Hideaway in in Denver, Colorado. Okay, so, uh, awesome. <laughs> Wow, I'm speechless. <laughs> I wish I want to be there. I'm not going to. Anyways, wow, that is such an honor. So I'm so happy for you, Jacob. I'm so happy for all the wonderful things that are happening to you because, like I said, you are so talented. The way you sing, the way you play, you blow me away. Um, and I've been doing this for 18 years in radio and six months into this, and it takes a lot to blow me away, and you have. Um, Thank absolutely you so blown you should, me away. You should come. You should come to the show. That yeah, would be, that would I'm, be awesome. I'm in Canada. <laughs> yes, I am in Canada, Jacob. I would love to come to the show, but yeah, I'm in Canada. <laughs> I actually, yes, um, I uh, we actually want to play in Canada, um, very very badly actually. Um, we, um, the drummer that played on the the record, uh, Brent Brent Fitz. Um, if you if you guys don't know him or know of him he's awesome uh amazing musician um he's got a band called Took with uh todd kearns also from slash and Took is they do a tribute to all canadian rock bands Ooh. and it's amazing the way they record like their songs the way they do the songs i like them better than their originals that that are recorded it's amazing so definitely check them out they're on tour right now um, so they might be coming near you. So definitely go check them out because they're really, really awesome. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but yeah, so he he was telling me all about Canada and um, all the cool things, and I, he actually made me fall in love with it. And I've not even been there yet. So <laughs> um, yeah, we we're big coffee fans. Ah. And uh, he was telling me about um, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. <laughs> yes, and I, I, you know, I've been, I've been wanting to go there. Ever since he brought it up and, and was telling us about it. So. Yeah, I, I'm on a, I, because I'm on social media and I talk to people all the time, um, I think everybody in the world has heard about Tim Hortons. Um, but they also tease me, and I'm sure you're going to hear it too, um, because they say I say A a lot, which I didn't know I did. Um, and also be, how I say about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because apparently it sounds like a boot or a butt. Anyways, <laughs> I have um, tons of people that listen to me in Canada. Um, that run venues. So I'm wow. hoping that once they hear you, that you're going to get contacted because um, you definitely need, need to come here. I mean, I'm heard worldwide. I, everybody hears me all across the world, but um, I am Canadian. So I definitely want uh, anybody that I have on my shows to come, but definitely you, because um, like I say, you just, you blow me away. So anybody that's listening that, you know, Plans concerts in Canada. Get Jacob Cade and uh, the Jacob Cade Project out here. <laughs> yes, we would love it. We we've been wanting to go for a long time now, and uh, we're we're excited. So that would that would be amazing. Thank you so much for that shout out. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries at all. That's why I do this to help out as much as I can. Um, Jacob, right. thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for you know being patient with the Skype and everything. Um, I'm yeah. glad that I have two mastered studio versions of your songs to put up as well um the gift from jacob.com is going to be up on my website that people can link to along with jacobcadeproject.com they can link to um so they can uh, go and find out more about you because the videos of their uh, like you guys have to watch these youtube videos they blew me away um and also i'm keep saying that my goodness blow me away blow me, it because you do and i don't usually repeat myself that many times but you do um, Thank you. I, also, um, I was gonna add to you, to the list that you had. Um, we we also have a thing where you can go on your phone and, and text um, Jacob, my name Jacob to three eight four seven zero. Hang on, hang on. Jesus, I gotta keep writing down things. Three eight four seven zero seven zero, and that's they just have to put in three eight four seven zero, and you'll get the text. 
Yes. Yep. And then it'll it'll text them back and tell them, you know, um, we're very grateful that they text, and they'll get a free song also from that. Um, and then we'll we'll be connected. Uh, but yeah, text Jacob. My name J A C O B. Okay, I'll put that up on my website too. My goodness, <laughs> your fan base must be insane. Like <laughs> it must be insane. We we yeah uh, we love. We love playing shows, and when people come up and say, you know, we we have been following you, and 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 we love your music, and and we just love to chat with them, you know, me especially, and 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 my dad, um, my dad loves to talk to fans. My drummers, both of them, they're so into it. Uh, we're not, we don't have any uh, any any hermits in our in our group. We all like to talk to people, whoever will will listen, and whoever has something to say. Um, and uh, it, as a matter of fact, it happened. Uh, we played in the Springs um, last weekend, uh, Colorado Springs, and we had people come in and, you know, they were videotaping the whole show and he came over to the table where I was sitting and talked to me for a long time and wanted pictures and, you know, told us they loved our music. And uh, we love we love to hear when when our if our music, you know, touch, touches you in any way. And, yeah. And, you know, it's very inspiring to us. So, yes. well, and not just that. Don't lose that. Like, don't ever lose that. Um, one of the things that I love is no matter how big um, an artist gets, they still, even if it's just one day a week, they go onto their social media and they interact with their fans. I think that's very, very important um, yes. to keep your fan base um, huge and to let the people know that you know you love that they love you. I think it's very important. So don't ever stop doing that, Jacob. I think that's just a wonderful thing. Thank um, you so much. Yes, I, I will never stop. Good, uh, good. <laughs> now, if anything new happens, if, um, you know, you come out with another album or you just want to throw your singles up on my website because I have a dedicated page for that as well to help promote you, um, or, and I know this is going to happen, I just, I know this is going to happen, when you are... Um, winning all kinds of awards i want you to come back and um talk to us and share that with us because i know you're going to you're going to be huge and i love your dedication i love Thanks. your inspirations and i love the fact that you're opening for winger um <laughs> just uh, just yeah. keep keep doing you and keep being you and you're gonna go like far jacob i can see it now thank you so much i i will do we'll do i, I will keep going i have I have family supporting me, which I thank God for every day, and got friends supporting me too, and and people like you. Thank you so much for having me on and and supporting me, and you know being being so awesome to me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I definitely want to definitely want to come back when our our album comes out. Sure, soon. yeah, definitely. I, Just you've got me on Twitter. <laughs> right on. Okay, cool. and thank you everyone for joining me on Allie's Attic. Keep checking my website. You never know what kind of surprises you'll find in my attic. I've talked to this one up like crazy. You finally get to understand what I was talking about. Everybody have a great night. Cheers. <laughs>